For much of the 20th century, photographers worked with contact sheets to develop and select their images. Even when contact sheets were essential and an everyday part of photography, people who were outside of the world of photography normally didn't see them because they were part of the working process. Contact sheets provide a peek at how photographers work, like in this proof of photos by Larry Fink, captured at a New York gala. So we have the finished prints from this sheet, both of which are less than the full negative, but also both of which are the same square shape as the full negative. It's interesting that both of those are so tight on the emotion and action. Well, and he's, he's, he's feeling that he can make an expressive picture without basically having to have the expressions of the people's faces. It can be done through their physical gestures. Proof, photography in the era of the contact sheet, features many familiar faces, including images of Marilyn Monroe from early in her career. Philippe Paulsman, who was one of the leading magazine photographers at the time, went out to Hollywood to photograph her. It was a large studio apartment, but it was still one room. And then the, this is the picture that he chose, and you see at the top there, it's the hinge on the door. It's such a great picture. It looks like one of the great Hollywood studio portraits made in the, with controlled lighting. It's in her apartment. And then, of course, when it appears on the cover of Life, they airbrush the hinge away. The exhibit includes around 180 proofs and other works collected by the late Clevelander and museum trustee, Mark Schwartz. As far as I know, nobody has ever made a collection like this before. Schwartz's wife, Bettina Katz, says her husband's collection began with one contact sheet in 2002. And that image was of Deanne and Alan Arbus. I don't think the artist was of particular significance, but it was a shoot for Vanity Fair. And I remember when he bought this. And as many things in my husband's life, you know, when he gets an idea in his head or a collecting idea, and then it just took off. Did you ever think that this collection would become an exhibit? I knew he was on to something. You know, he was a really smart man, and he started to pursue artists to create images for him, not just those that were used in the dark room. He had an idea about this. So, no, I'm actually not very surprised that it's an exhibition. What is surprising to me is the interest around this kind of nostalgia look back at film photography. One of Schwartz's special requests of an artist was for Richard Avedon to enlarge a contact sheet from his photo shoot with the actor Groucho Marx. After Avedon had agreed to make these for Mark, Mark proposed to him, well, would you consider making a big one, like six feet tall? And eventually, Avedon agreed. Was that a common thing? No, completely uncommon. Although, you know, Avedon had been one of the people who pioneered very large prints, but of individual frames, not of a contact sheet. Even though he included contact sheets in his exhibitions, but not that size. I think it was part, partly the reason he said yes was because he was interested. He was interested in the contact sheet as a as a trace of the photographer's process, working process. So he did agree, but there's only one of those. Yeah, and then it's right there and at the end of the, yeah. end of the show.